Hey guys, so I'm coming at you here on a Thursday evening. Uh, I'm gonna get blood work in the morning, see where my natural levels are at. Lucy's got a shake, of course, and get her presence felt in the video. Um, what else is new with that? She's embarked yet, though, so we got that going. Anyway, son of a gun. She's not supposed to be up here. Get there, get there. All right, we're back. <clears throat> so what, what I'm gonna do tomorrow, like I said, Fasted blood work, gonna get my testosterone levels checked, my FSH, my LH, all that good stuff. See if I'm rebounding back my natural test levels, um, as that will be 60 days, and steroid free, testosterone free, anabolics free, all the things free, SARMs free. I'm not like, oh, I'm off testosterone, but I'm secretly running SARMs or something like that. No, I'm literally off everything, so I'm very excited to see if my body's starting to rebound. And this week I have felt a lot better. So I'm gonna get the results for that, hopefully next week. If I give blood tomorrow, give the blood work, I should get the results by like Wednesday or Thursday next week. And I can make a video of where my levels are at after nine years straight on steroids, never coming off until now, and see if I was able to rebound at all. So I've already done, uh, two years ago I got a CT scan done on my heart because I was worried about having calcium buildup in my arteries or heart enlargement. Got a CT scan of my heart two years ago in March, March of 2019. I had, maybe it was 2018, I honestly can't remember at this point, but I had uh, a calcium score of two, which is actually very, very good. Anything below 10 is good on a, a calcium plaque score test. I had a two, which is like almost perfect. It's just, it's as close as you could get to being perfect, but not perfect, if that makes sense. So no, no clogging of my arteries. And if you do have clogging of your arteries, you can take vitamin K2, MK7. Over time, it's not gonna instantly uh, clear your arteries, but over time it will. And decalcify your arteries and less likely to have a heart attack. So that's a good one. But um, I also had zero heart enlargement. I had zero lung enlargement. So you often hear about bodybuilders with enlarged organs and stuff. I think it's the growth hormone. I didn't have anything like that. I've never taken growth hormone, never taken insulin. I've taken anabolic steroids, but that's it. Um, so I'll be curious to see where everything's at after nine years of being on cycle. And I think a lot of people will get some insight out of that. Like, literally, I didn't come off at all for nine years until now. So this is the first time since I was like 20 years old that I haven't been on testosterone, at the very least. I had many times where I would cruise on 125 to 250 milligrams of testosterone. But I never actually came off. And, you know, I've definitely taken a big hit with my libido. That's one thing I've noticed. My libido is not even close to what it used to be. That's starting to rebound a little now, but it took a while. Um, overall, I feel pretty good. Recovery is, is awful. Lucy! No! So recovery is awful. Um, I'm sore all the time. It takes me like five days to recover from a lower body session and like three, four days to recover from an upper body. So that's fun. I'm guessing my test levels are like 400. Well, 400 would be great. 300 maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. I hope they're not like 100 or 200 because that's going to suck and I'm going to have to figure out what to do to get those up. Anyway, next thing I want to cover. So <sighs> this is something people don't know about me. I've never really uh, talked about this, but Throughout high school and over my brief stint in college, two and a half years in college, I was a college dropout. Um, so basically, I don't even know how to get into this. This is something. This is something I've never talked about. Um, my favorite thing, favorite subject in school was writing in English. So throughout high school and college, I got A's straight through in any writing or English course because I loved writing. Like if we had to do a book report, even if it was like a boring subject, I loved writing. I just, my mind would kind of like flow with everything. So that was really, once I got to college, I was a good student in high school. Once I got to college, I was, had no clue what I was doing in terms of math, had no clue what I was doing in terms of the science aspect of things, chemistry, things like that. Um, but the English and writing part I enjoyed thoroughly. I loved it. And so I was always good at that. And another part of the story that you have to hear for this all to make sense is there was a blog I stumbled upon 
I want to say about a decade ago, called Bold and Determined. And Bold and Determined was a blog by a guy named Victor Pride. I don't know if that was his actual real name, but he went by the moniker Victor Pride. And it was basically like a self-help blog for men, or a, it was like a masculine type blog for men, where it was like his views on how to live a successful life, whether it be fitness related, um, general life advice, all sorts of things. And I read many of his articles. It was my only blog I really looked at. I loved it. Um, and basically, long story short, I just happened to think about that blog the other day. And I looked it up and he had taken everything down and basically discontinued the blog, shut it down. So basically he'd come to Christ, which I'm a firm believer. I came to Christ too many years ago. Um, but for whatever reason, he decided to get rid of everything. And his content was never um, contra that controversial. Like he would swear and, and stuff in, in his blog, but it was never um, offensive content. So I don't know why he took it down, but he did. But anyway, what I'm getting at here is I started a website um, that's mainly going to be my thoughts on the world. It's going to be uh, a blog. I'm not really even like, I just want to have a spot where I can write like I used to on whatever subject I want to at the time, convey my thoughts on the world and almost make it, um, make it similar to what Victor Pride did with Bold and Determined. And so I titled the blog and the, the website strong and driven so it's strong and driven.com I'll put the the link below and I just want you guys to check it out and read my first post and this post it's a three-minute read it won't take you that long but I want you guys to share your honest opinions with me on what you think of my writing what you think of the message and if this is something that you want to see more of and the messages will, will vary. It'll be, it'll depend on whatever comes into my brain at that time. Whatever I think I need to convey to you guys. Um, whatever I want to convey to the world. So it's going to be more of a geared toward life advice, lifting advice, um, how to be a better man, masculine touch on things, things like that. Um, but I'm never going to define or try to categorize it as far as specific things, exactly what I'm what I'm going to write about. It's it's going to be what comes to me, and I enjoyed this. I've I read I wrote articles. Uh, video cut out, but I wrote articles many years ago for like Juggernaut Training Systems, and um, some of them weren't even about lifting and things like that. And I just enjoyed it, and I want to get back to that. So I'm going to try to convey my knowledge, and you know, I may write articles about how to be a successful online coach, things like that. Cause I've been doing that for eight years straight and I've been, um, what I would consider successful at it. Like it's my full time job and people seem pretty satisfied with the results and with, with, uh, my responses and, and the value and knowledge I've given them. So that might be another subject, uh, just, just all sorts of things. So this first post is basically called what matters in life. And it's my opinion on what I think is the most important part of life as far as what we're really here for. And I just want you guys to check it out. You know, leave a comment on the blog or here or whatever. Let me know what you think. And if you enjoy the content, um, enter your email and subscribe to, to the blog at the bottom of the page. And then you'll get updated anytime I, I make a new post on the, on the blog. So I'm hoping to make a post at least once a week. That'd be 52 posts a year. Um, but yeah, I'd appreciate it if y'all would just, uh, subscribe to the blog, show your support, get the word out. If you like it, um, let me know if you think it sucks. I don't, I don't really know, but I'm curious to, to see people's feedback on this new endeavor. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. So I'll get that blood work tomorrow as well and get back to you guys on what that's looking like. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. Uh, give an upvote. I appreciate all your support. And I really couldn't be where I am today without the audience I have. It's dwindled from what it used to be. But I definitely appreciate those who stuck around. So let's make it a good 2021, folks.